Hi guys, it's Mac Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are doing the song Anonymous by Akai Kragi Okay, which is, as far as I'm aware, some uh, psychedelic punk band from Japan who are currently blowing up on the TikTok. And so, my lovely peeps here, my cheeky wee spuds, have decided to send it to me for my perusal and my approval, and that is what you are about to get. So we're going to go, we're going to listen to it, we're going to decide, is it good or does TikTok have an absolutely dreadful taste in music? That's what we're gonna decide. So stick around to the end of the video for that. And Riff was going so well. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, God. That's unlistenable. That is unlistenable. Musically, it's pretty good. Musically, it sounds like the fucking hives. Vocally, vocally, that is disgusting. <laughs> she had for this band and they went aye that sounds good <laughs> I'm about to vomit into my own fucking eyeballs <laughs> I never want George for Lake and Taylor Swift ever again. I don't, I'm just saying it right now. See, all you use cunts in the comments and sit there and make your fucking wee comments about fucking Taylor, about me reacting to Taylor Swift and BTS. Shut up. <laughs> Can I be in your punk band? <laughs>
actually right. That's uh, that was actually quite good. It was quite fun, punky. It had kind of hints of Bleach era Nirvana, the hives. It was, it, you know, it was good. I enjoyed it musically, but never before have I ever seen a song get absolutely fucked over the coals by one person so spectacularly in my life. It's difficult to state how much I hated that song and how much of that was specifically because of that singing. Fucking awful to listen to. <laughs> Anybody else singing that? That would have been a good song. Anybody else singing that? Even Stephen Hawking would have made that song more palatable than what that stupid cunt just did right there. That was fucked. I didn't used to like the X Factor and American Idol and stuff because I always felt like who are these people to come in and piss on these folks dreams of going and being a singer and stuff. She needed them. She needed somebody to just turn around and go, listen, this isn't for you hen. This is no for you. There is a factory down the street needing somebody to pack fireworks. On you go. People that are watching this video won't realise this right, but actually my, like, I'm currently streaming this live and recording it live. The last reaction that I did was Rush with the song Something For Nothing, where I spent all of that song talking about how shit Geddy Lee singing was, and now, in retrospect, having had more information, I have now decided that Geddy Lee singing was absolutely fucking angelic, because I did not realise the depths of hell. I did not realise what circle of hell Geddy Lee was in, and I did not realise that I had six more circles left to go. Honestly, I feel like I've just been castrated. <laughs> That's fucking woeful. But guys, let me know in the comments below, what did you think of that song? Did you like that song? Did you not like that song? I've been Marcabusi, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.